Hey, what's up, YouTube? How's everybody doing? So today we're gonna be cloning some chips with the Max Key tool. And this is my inventory for uh, generic chips that I have. If you guys need to get that down, go ahead and get it down. I have Mega Most 13 AE 4C128. I'd recommend you guys get a few 128 bits for four, the new Tiki. 4D61, 4D62, 4D64, 4D67, 4D68. Okay, 46, Philips 46, 46 extended, and Circle Plus. And I have a lot of super chips. The only time you can clone a key is when you have the customer's key available. That's the only time you can clone a key. Other than that, if you don't have a key, you're gonna need to generate a chip. So in a case of generating a transponder, you only have to generate it when you're doing Aki's Lost. Once again, like I said, if you guys don't have the chip here, you go ahead and take the super chip out. You put it, you put it right here. You go ahead and select generate transponder. For instance, um, let's say I need a, a Ford key, like the one that I show you. Let's say I need this one. If I don't have a transponder chip, I would go on here and look for, as you guys can see, it's right here. ID 63, okay, Ford Mazda. So you go ahead and click on it and we would choose to generate it, okay? Chip is in here. And it's generating this chip that this key has, okay? That's the only time I do it. When I'm doing all keys lost and I don't have the, the transponder chip. I would just go ahead and get my transponder chip, use my MFK blades that I have, okay? As you guys can see, these are H75 blades, mechanical blades. And then up here I have the key heads, okay? If you guys wanna know where, where, where to get these at, you guys can go ahead and go to UHS Hardware, okay? UHSHardware.com, big shout out to them. Check them out, they have good specials. So I have the key heads right here and the multi multifunctional blades. I also I also have a, a blades for flip keys right here, okay? So if I need to make a flip key for the universal remote, I can do it as well, generate the remote and the chip, okay? If you guys wanna know more about this, I have more videos on my page, go ahead, check it out. Sometimes I have issues with generating chips with my Max Key tool. Okay, for instance, I couldn't generate an ID13. It would, sell, it would tell me fail to communicate. Okay, I was also having trouble generating an ID64 for a, for a certain vehicle. And also a, a ID62 for Subaru. So I just ended up buying the generic chip, as you guys can see, the 4D62, 4D64. Okay, if you don't wanna waste your generic chips, you guys, um, a great idea that one of my uh, subscribers gave me was for instance, um, let's say we don't, we don't have that Subaru chip that we needed, the ID62. I went ahead and I bought a, a generic chip, okay? 4D62, okay, ID62. So in this case, if I only have like one of these chips and I don't want to waste my last one, I'll go ahead and I clone this, okay? I will go ahead and clone this chip. So right now it's reading the generic chip, okay? And this would be just to save myself a 4D62, okay, as you guys can see, it's 4D62. Then we go ahead and press clone. I am not connected to the Wi-Fi, you guys, so let's try this out. No internet current, please check the internet. So in order to clone this, you guys, we actually have to do, go ahead and connect to the Wi-Fi, okay? Okay, you guys, so we connected to the internet. As you guys can see, we have Wi-Fi up there. So we have the 4D62, the generic chip that we got from our generic chips. And we're gonna go ahead and clone it so that we don't waste the only generic chip that we have and the, and the, you know it, it clones onto the super chip so that we can you know use a ch super chip to uh, program the key that we need it's more cheaper okay in this case so in most okay so as you guys can see it says um a query calculation result calculate success please put the the cloning chip which is a super chip in there so we're going to put the super chip in there in order to clone successfully okay so as you guys can see we successfully generated our 4d62 okay so now we're going to go ahead and read this chip the super chip okay so let's go ahead and read the super chip make sure that it successfully cloned it okay let's go ahead and put that super chip in there read So as you guys can see, we successfully cloned the generic 4D62. So now we can use the, the super chip in its place. So, so like I said, that we don't have to waste our 
last 4D62. Just in case an emergency, you know, we can go ahead and use it. Uh, okay. So that's how we do it, you guys. We're gonna go ahead and clone some more keys right now, okay? We still have our super chip right here. As you guys can see, if you guys don't know which one your super chip is, it should say XT27A. Can you see that? Okay, that's how we know this is our super chip. You don't need to virginize the super chip to, to another one. No, you can just go ahead and keep cloning it. Right here I have more. I have a, a Toyota G chip, Toyota H chip, you guys. Okay, these are for newer, these are for newer models. I have a 4D60 for for um for nissan and i have a pk3 for chevy okay or gm which has a mega most 13 that's how i know it has a pk3 on it so you guys always have to make sure that you guys always look it up i usually use the elko auto keys and truck reference book to look for my key and my desired transponder chip we're gonna clone this id 13 okay mega most 13 i don't think you need to be on the internet only when it's calculating, you guys, and it tells you that you need to calculate it, I think that's when you need to be on the on the Wi-Fi. So we're gonna go ahead and retransponder. Then we're gonna press clone. So we're gonna press start, okay? Make sure the key's in there, and we're gonna press start. So as you guys can see, it's telling us to take out the original key and put the super chip in there. So we're gonna take out the original key, we're gonna put the super chip in there. Okay. So now we turned it into a Mega Most 13, it says complete. We're gonna go back and read it. Make sure that it's an ID 13. You guys can see our super chip is in there. We haven't, we can just keep generating it to different chips, cloning it, keep cloning it. Okay, so once again, the only time you can clone a, key, a clone a key is when you have the customer's key available. If you don't have the customer's key available, you will need to generate a chip, okay? Or clone one of your generic chips. So now we have a 4D60 right here for Nissan. We're gonna go ahead and, and clone that too. Let's go ahead and read it first. Okay. So as you guys can see, this key is for Nissan 4D60, which is the older models. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go to clone. We're gonna start clone. Okay, put key into the coil. You guys can see it's uploading data, so only when when you're uploading data, you have to be connected to the internet, okay? So now it's telling us to take out the original key. We're gonna put the super chip in its place. Okay, we turned it from a 4D62 to an ID13, now to a, back to a 4D60. So we're gonna press complete. Now we're gonna go ahead and read it and make sure that it's a 4D60. We transponder. Success, you guys successfully converted to a 4D60, cloned it. Um, these, these sometimes I like having generic chips um, most of the time because I make my keys like I said, or I'll make the universal remote. And there's a little piece in here where you just stick your super chip in there after you clone your key and just generate and program the remote. That's all you have to do. You just have to generate, program the remote and you just clone their, their key, okay? So let's go ahead, let's clone more keys. We have a Toyota H chip. So the H chip, you guys, basically when we want to clone one of these, we're going to put it in here. Okay, hold on. We're going to go back. We're going to go to transponder clone. We're going to go ahead and retransponder. It's a Toyota H chip, you guys. Okay, so as you guys can see, okay, it's an H chip. It says clonable. We're going to go ahead and press clone. Okay, so as you can see, it's Toyota H, A, E, A, 8A. Okay, online calculation, okay, you guys? That's the only way we could do it. So we're gonna press start clone. It's calculating it online, so you have to be connected to Wi-Fi once again. Please put the original key into the coil. Please take out the original card key and put the BBDI super chip. So we're gonna put the super chip. And we're gonna clone it. Detected the super chip as you can see. Analyze, analyzation complete. Transponder clone. Two seconds after, okay. Transponder clone. Writing data and complete. 
So we successfully cloned this H chip. Let's go ahead and read it just to make sure that it did successfully cloned it. Perfect. Transponder 8A, Camry, okay. You can see successfully. And that's our super chip once again. XT27A. Let's go ahead and clone this key now, which is a G chip. Okay, for Toyota. We're gonna go ahead and press clone. Excuse me, go back, go back. We're gonna retransponder. -trans We're gonna retransponder. As you guys can see, it says transponder 4D Toyota G. We're gonna press clone. Make sure the key's inside the inside the coil still. Start clone. Please put original key. Please take out original key and put the super chip. Let's take out the original key with the super chip. Writing data, you see the green? All right, so a question that you guys were asking, um, do you still have to program the key after you clone it? And the answer is no, you guys. Once you clone the key, once you clone the customer's key that they have, you don't have to program it. The only time you're programming the key is when you're generating a chip, okay, or you're doing all keys lost. Like I said, if you guys can generate the chip, like I said, buy your generic chips and clone your generic chips and program your generic chips. Only when you're program, only when you're cloning your generic chips that you guys don't have a chip to generate is when you have to program the key. Other than that, if you guys are, are going, if you guys are cloning the customer's key that's already cut and they, and they just need a spare, you don't need to program it, okay? So as you guys can see, we successfully cloned this Toyota G chip key, 1244G, okay? We're gonna go back and read it, just to make sure that we successfully did it. Our super chip is still in there. We already successfully cloned all these keys. Perfect, 4D, Toyota G, you guys see that? The same super chip. Let's go ahead and see if we can clone something a little bit more harder. Like this force, force um, 46 extended chip. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and retransponder. Like I said, the ones that you can't really clone are the 4C and the 128. These are pretty hard. This one you could probably clone it, but it's, it's hard for the antenna to pick it up. I'm not really sure, you know, why. Okay, so we read our chip right here. Okay, transponder 46. Okay, this one, this one is extended. We're gonna go ahead and press clone. Okay, we have our chip inside there. Let me just make sure. Okay, this is our super chip and that's a generic Phillips 46. Start clone. So right here, we're gonna go ahead and choose 46 transponder clone. Okay. Please take out the original key. Okay, now put the super chip in there. So it's really easy, you guys. You guys have to go ahead, just read their, they read their key. Then you go ahead and clone it, okay? And you write the data on the super chip. So we're gonna go back, let's read the super chip. Make sure that we successfully um, cloned our 46E. We're gonna put our 46E back in there. And there it is, you guys transpond the 46 super chip. Let's go ahead and clone ourselves. This Toyota, this is a dot, this is a dot chip key for the toy, the toy 44D. Okay, a Toyota key. We're gonna go ahead and clone that last one, you guys. Okay, if you guys have any questions, email me. L I L R O X X 001 yahoocom Let's go ahead and read this 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 4D67 chip. 4D67 for Toyota. Okay. It's a dot. It's a dot key. On that blade, instead of a letter, you guys have a little dot. So if you see that your key has a little dot on there, that means that your key has a transponder chip, 4D67. So we're gonna go ahead and press clone. Original key still in there, original generic chip still in there. And we're gonna press start clone. We're gonna get to Wi-Fi, successfully data upload. Take out the original key. We're gonna take out our, our generic chip out. We're gonna put the super chip in there. Okay, please put clone chip. Okay, complete. 
let's go ahead and read it. Make sure that we successfully cloned the 4D67. Okay, we're gonna put that back in there. And success, 4D67, our super chip. Okay, you guys. So these are mostly all the kids that we can clone. Well, thank you guys for watching. If you guys like this video, make sure you hit like and subscribe to my channel, you guys. Okay, if you guys want to go ahead and donate to this channel for more tools and more information for me to keep growing and showing you guys, go ahead and cash at me. Okay, my cash app will be in the details below. Till next time, you guys, take care. So thank all of you guys that, that are still sticking in there with me. Um, I just want to show you guys my car. Okay, this is, I recently got an accident um, like this last Monday. So I, I have like seven days that this happened. They ended up, um, they ended up actually hitting me on the side and I spun and I hit a parked car on the other side of the street. So it wasn't my fault, you guys. As you guys can clearly see, I was hit. Both of my airbags went off. This side looks good. The front looks good. You know, it's just you know they they, they totaled it. Basically, they totaled it. You know, whole back is smashed in. Pretty good. Um, I'm a, I'm thinking of slowing down on the videos, you guys, and just you know just taking a break from YouTube for a while. Uh, if you guys want to donate. Anything to help me out, um, you guys can go ahead and cash out me, you guys. I uh, appreciate you guys always trying to help out. I'll see you guys later. It's my kids automotive. Take care.